I talk to old friends, they say, Robert, you sound so happy and enthusiastic. I say, aren't I usually like that? They say, yes, you are, but even more so now. And I said, well, that's the San Diego effect. I was always interested in the law. I always really enjoyed the idea of, of school, of what education could do, of the transformative possibilities of education. And so after college, I thought about maybe trying something in history, or maybe legal history. So I went to did some graduate work in history before deciding that law really was the right path for me. Uh, I think my parents knew I would come home to the law, but I needed to try something else first. So I, I went to law school, I, I loved it, I made great friends, really enjoyed working with the faculty there. Had wonderful opportunities to work for two great judges after law school, uh, Judge Pierre Laval, who was a federal district court judge in New York, and Justice John Paul Stevens on the United States Supreme Court. And then I went to work for a law firm for a while, but I knew I would end up probably being in the legal academy. I just loved education. I loved the idea of teaching. So I taught briefly at Duke and then got my job at Emory Law School in Atlanta. And I was so happy to get that job. This has really been a kind of dream for me to actually get a job teaching in a law school. So I started teaching at Emory and I loved my job there. I loved working with the students. I loved the colleagues. I loved being part of a great university. And then I began to work in ways to try to work within the institution and the administration. I became an associate dean, eventually became dean of Emory Law School and had a wonderful uh, six years there as dean. And then when the term as dean ended, I went back to teaching and writing full time and I really enjoyed that. But then I saw this announcement about the deanship at the University of San Diego School of Law and I got a call about it. I'd always really admired the University of San Diego School of Law. What I knew best really was the faculty, which are renowned throughout the legal academy for being outstanding scholars. And so I thought this would be an interesting environment, some place I'd like to learn more about. And as I learned more about it, I just began to admire it more and more. It was a great pleasure to work with the search committee, to get to know the administration, to learn about the mission, what it meant to be a Catholic law school, and what that tradition of social justice meant to the school. And I began to appreciate also all of the opportunities, the clinical opportunities, the close connection to San Diego, what a wonderful place this was. And so for all of those reasons, it just seemed like a perfect next step for me. And again, one of my happiest moments was when I got the call from the provost offering me this position. And I thought this would really be a, a great step and a really exciting opportunity for me. And it's been a just great honor and a pleasure here to be here. I'm very interested in constitutional law and constitutional law really of a, a particular kind. So I'm very interested in the idea of federalism which is the allocation of power between states and the national government. And I know it sounds a little bit abstract, but just on a practical level, I appreciate how much are done by states and by local government and the importance of those governments. That is, sometimes things work in Washington and sometimes they don't. But I always feel there are people working hard in the states, whether it's about guaranteeing individual rights, whether it's about having schools or health care, it is the importance of states and, and local communities. And we have a system where we have our 50 states and they, they do different things, but I think it's a system that's very robust and dynamic. And you know, frankly, some of my teachers in law school thought, really, states? Aren't states sometimes a problem? You know, and I was in Georgia and I understood that there was a history where Sometimes when states went their own way, it wasn't a good way, and I appreciated that. But I also appreciate just the positive potential that states and localities had to enable people to provide for things like education, for childcare, for healthcare, for things that were so important in people's lives, and also to protect the kind of rights on the state and local level that might not be protected at the national level. 
Georgia actually was really a trendsetter in protecting the rights of the LGBTQ community. So in other ways in which states could really help people and protect people's rights, those are the kinds of things that I look at. And then also a bit about the particular role of courts and what courts do in our system to protect people's rights. So that focus on courts and the focus on state and local government has really been a theme for me. I just love really everything about being in the academy. I love teaching and working with students. I learn so much, there's so much energy. I really think it keeps me connected with the future. I love the idea of being with people who, who care about ideas, who think about ideas, who write about things, who think about how their ideas can connect with reality. So think about also the transformative possibilities of education. I know what education did for my parents, and when I see people and see how education really can be transformative for them, for their families, it's extraordinarily rewarding. I just find this really an ideal place to work. Well, I'd really like to hear from them. I know that the centerpiece of what we do is to provide education for them and also an experience for them. And I appreciate that whether you're in a pandemic or after a pandemic, that law school can be a stressful experience. And I want to know what we can do for them, how we can support them. So I hope to have an open door where students can come and talk to me and know that I will work every day to try to make this the best place for them. This law school has an outstanding faculty who are leading scholars and committed teachers, and it also has extraordinary clinical opportunities. I hadn't fully appreciated before I came here the breadth and the range of the opportunities for our students to represent people in need, to learn valuable legal skills, and to be able to use those skills to help and advance the public. And those kinds of skills are really something that are very difficult to get if you're not at a school like the University of San Diego, which has these wonderful clinical programs. And we even bring it into the first year. We have this experiential advocacy program, so students learn those skills from the moment they arrive here. We're also so well situated in this community. I like to say we're not just the university in San Diego, but we really are the University of San Diego. And there are so many opportunities here for our students in law practice, in business, with working for judges, working for governments, public interest organizations. So that range of opportunity is something that really is unique to this school.